<laughs> Alright, so we get the new field piece uh, ER82 infrared recurrent leak detector. So um, we've checked all the flare fittings over here and nothing. Um, started searching everywhere's in here and kept getting what I thought was from the white insulation. Now, this white insulation is the isopolar that unfortunately fell apart. Companies out of business and nobody to go after. So it really stinks because no manufacturer makes their own line set. So in the past, we've replaced some really bad sections, but now we're having a leak issue. And when you put it in here, in 87, 99, and it's it's wet. In the past, we put dye in it trying to find a leak, and it's not showing with the glasses. So this is at least one of our problems here. I'm curious, I'll let this clear out a little bit, but other ones may be also having the same issue. And what we found in the past is low points or bellies in the line seem to be the biggest problem. And what happens from what I understand is the water gets into this white insulation after the outer jacket breaks down, it creates some sort of reaction that makes it the copper porous. So usually we're looking for dips to find issues in. So, so I'm kind of looking for it here. Let's see if I can find anything in other spots. the same line as that one anyway. So just trying to look for other spots where it may leak, but that is definitely a biggest problem. It is right here. And the line has a little bit of moisture. Reading 99. We probably have other spots as well. I mean this is the same line so I would just replace the whole section. So checking every little bit of that line doesn't really matter much. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go in and check a few other spots and see if we find anything there. If we find anything, we'll turn the camera back on. 